What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have a little bit of an issue with this car. Recently I've been driving it and it's been stuttering on the road. Idle's very weird. It happened at one point where I, I stopped for a little bit, car was parked for like five minutes and then it started smoking. I don't know what the issue is, I just think that maybe the oil is a little bit too thin and the pressure was dropping. So that could be one issue. I brought it to HP Logic. Talk to Roberto, talk to Marcus, and they diagnosed that possibly I am misfiring because one of my cylinders isn't working. That means I gotta go ahead and take the whole entire upper area out, which is the spark plug, the injectors, possibly the coil packs as well, since it's already gonna be in the way when we take the spark plugs out. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing that today. Uh, gonna start jumping into this and working on the engine and possibly maintenance of this car. So I thought about it, the car is about 20, 21 years old and it needs all this stuff replaced. I don't know if it's been replaced. There is no real service history on it. Um, I expected the car to run a lot smoother and better, but it doesn't. So uh, this is just the consequences of buying a used car and sometimes maintenance is always required um, because sometimes people who sell cars don't really replace them or if it sits too long, it goes bad. So in this case, I think it's both. So we're gonna go ahead and put you on tripod and start taking apart the engine uh, on the upper area because the way it's designed it's a little bit different than what I am used to so you've seen the engine before it's it's not the prettiest it's designed kind of funny but looks doesn't matter if it performs fine it performs fine but I'm gonna go ahead and have to remove this whole upper arm and get to this cover right here we're gonna go and remove this cover but before doing that we gotta remove that and underneath this will show all that we need to look at uh, in terms of spark plugs and coal packs. Now, if it came into injectors being an issue, that is on this side, which will require more diagnosing, more parts being taken off. And I'm hoping nothing is wrong with the injectors. I'm hoping the issue is a spark plug because that is the most inexpensive to replace. Next will be coal packs, and then injectors will go after that. And at that point, it's just gonna be draining all my money. But if things get worse, I'm gonna have to reconsider this car altogether. It's not that I'm afraid of maintenance, it's that I don't want to spend all this money on repairing stuff on it when I can enjoy the car a little bit more uh, off the bat. I've only had it for a few months, so it's kind of discouraging, but it's fine. It's a learning curve. I'm going to go ahead and see how this thing works, how Nissan designs certain things, and we're going to go and check to see how good these spark plugs are and also check the coil packs to see if there's any issues. I know I'm ranting a lot because I am, because this is all new to me and same thing with you guys, all new to you. So we're gonna go ahead and learn together. I'm gonna set up my LED lights so we have some, some lights in here. I'll also put you guys on tripod and start working on this together. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult, but it's gonna take some time. So let's go ahead and do it. Alright guys, so that did take a little while, uh, I just want to make sure I was very careful. I did end up blowing a lot of dust on the top off just to, you know, get rid of most of it before I go and tack this. But seems it is quite dusty in here as well, so I'm going to turn on my compressor again. And we're going to go ahead and blow all the dust out of here. I'm going to make sure I cover up any holes and put probably put this one back on just because I don't want any of that coming inside of the engine. But we're going to blow all that away before we start working on this car. And hopefully we can start taking everything apart slowly. Um, Kinda sucks, but we'll see. Alright guys, so we went ahead and removed the coil packs. Uh, they are individual. Sometimes I know on GTRs they come as sets or pairs, like this would be a set and then that would be a set. Um, won't really know exactly what's wrong with these, they actually look fine. But I'm going to go and inspect every single one of these rubber boots. Uh, there seems to be some spacing right here, as you can see right there in the middle, there's some spacing and that could cause an issue as well. I mean that can make spark from the inside jump out causing it to misfire, um, but I mean I just don't really know. 
I'm gonna look through every single one of them and hopefully they're all good. Uh, I don't see any oil or any major issues, but if you look, this one is really, really brown as well as that one. The rest are pretty clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and inspect cylinder three and cylinder five and hopefully uh, those spark plugs are just fine. All right, here's the spark plugs all removed. They honestly seem pretty good. I don't see anything major to be honest with you. Um, only thing I really see is a little bit of oil on cylinder two, but nothing, nothing crazy. What I'm gonna do now is actually contact Marcus and see what his input is on the situation seeing if I need to replace the plugs. They seem just fine to me. If anything, the coal packs do need to be replaced or somehow modified as a temporary fix. So that's what I might end up doing. But I really hope it's not the injectors that's really expensive to replace. So for the time being, I'm gonna ask for his opinion. Probably take apart the coal packs and install or apply some de-electric uh, solution or silicone. And hopefully that will reduce all of the spark. It could cause spark jumping all over the place Oh, there's a leak somewhere. That's what I read up online. I watched a video on YouTube. Some guy did it to an R32 GTR. Um, I assume it applies here as well. So uh, let's see what he says. Worst case, we'll just replace all the plugs again. Um, it looks like it's been replaced before because it looks pretty damn good. But uh, hopefully that's the only issue. So I'll update you guys in a little bit once I figure out what's going on. All right, guys. So we're back. I actually just finished going through a hurricane, Hurricane Dorian. Um, everyone was wishing me the best of luck and it was perfectly fine. Uh, it rained a little bit, but the winds didn't really catch up where I am at. So we definitely dodged a bullet. But just because it's hurricane season, we got a few more on the way. But right now, um, I've been killing time by working on the skyline on and off. I pretty much spent the time taking off the valve cover on the exhaust side. And now it's on the floor. Um, I'm deciding to paint this. So since I'm waiting for spark plugs anyway, I think it's a good time to actually paint them so that's what I did today and I actually test fitted the RB26 valve covers that I had um, I was waiting to make a video about this but I figured I'd just go ahead and do it anyway and show you guys that I picked these up from Rob uh, shout out to Rob for another awesome quality part um, he's always there always clutch with parts he wasn't using this anymore on his other build he has the HKS V cams um, if you actually watch his build on Pico's channel or TRC his car is like totally overhauled and we're gonna go ahead and do this eventually just not now eventually um, but for the time being we're gonna go ahead and take this uh, side out uh, because this one is more tricky with all of these components the throttle bodies in the way all these wires and piping and all that crap so I already moved some of the wire harness from this side over so now I gotta go ahead and start unbolting all of this. Everything is kind of new to me, so I'm taking my time with it. I don't want to put too much into this video um, because most of it is like time lapse worthy. But uh, for the time being, since we're waiting for spark plugs, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the um, valve covers and paint them. And when we get the spark plugs in later this week or next week, or I don't know when they're gonna get here, we're gonna install everything. We're gonna test it to see if the spark plug was an issue or worst case, more than likely the coil pack. So, might as well go ahead and just finish this up and make it look cool anyway. So, but I really want to get the skyline running again because it kind of not really break my heart, but I don't like seeing it in pieces. And I also got to start uh, working on the S2000. Um, just do an oil change. Uh, you know, it's about that time, 3,000 miles. And also, I want to redo the spark plugs and gap them properly. Um, I'm starting to hear the timing chain tensioner go bad. So, um, gonna need to replace that eventually just not right now so I haven't really been driving the car but the main part of this video is the skyline so I'm gonna go ahead and put on time lapse and we're gonna try to remove um, some more components on this thing and hopefully everything goes smooth
Alright guys, so valve cover is off. It's been a good half hour working on this, moving things around, bending parts, blah blah blah, whatever. So it's finally out. Um, here it is. Two of the RB25 valve covers are on the floor. They're gonna need to be cleaned up very, very well, sanded down, primer, painted, and hopefully it'll look really, really good. Um, for the cover, same thing. Uh, I probably should paint this. I don't want. I don't want to leave it black. I mean, it's just gonna look kind of funky. I don't know. But I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. The hardest part was taking out that uh, cam angle sensor. Uh, I had to actually pry it with two flatheads, and it came right out. Uh, upon further inspection, look at my timing belt, guys. How dry rot that looks. It's there's tons of creases. It's just so bad. This is the original belt. It needs to be replaced. A little scary, but I've done timing belt before and it's not too terrible. As long as everything is top dead center, uh, I just have to see what's the best course of action to go here. Um, it's just a lot of work. It needs to be replaced. I don't want this thing to just blow up and snap. It's gonna suck. So, one little, one little job turned out to be more expensive than I thought. So for any of you guys who are looking to buy used cars, just remember maintenance is a very, very big thing. So in this case, this car is old. It doesn't have a lot of miles on it, but as you can tell, it needs to be maintained. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is start making a price list of things I need. But the main thing is the timing belt. That thing looks scary to me, and I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. This car is becoming quite expensive already, just maintaining these parts, but it is an old car. Same with the S2K, you know, things were falling apart on it uh, in, in a sense, so I started placing all the fluids. Uh, maintaining it and now it runs flawless. Same with the Skyline, it's gonna do the exact same thing once I put a little bit of love into it and of course a lot of money. But for now, this is how the car is gonna sit until I uh, figure out everything. But for now, the main thing I wanna do is make sure that when the spark plug comes in, we're gonna run it to see if it hiccups anymore. If it still hiccups, then it's gonna be kind of annoying. Uh, then we gotta go into the coil packs and replace that. If it's not the coil packs, then we gotta start taking up this upper plenum and replacing and checking all the injectors. But I'm pretty sure it's one of the coil packs. Uh, once that's all fixed and everything's running well, I can work towards doing the timing belt um, on this car and maybe just clean it up a little bit, you know? But that's the couple things that I, I have planned for it already. And I know it's a lot to be thrown in one video, but there it is. All right guys, very, very long video. Sorry for that, but um, at least we know we are diagnosing all the issues on this car and you won't know that until you actually dive in there and start taking things apart. Um, anyway, gonna end the video now. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Hopefully next video we'll install the spark plugs or we'll be painting the valve covers. Um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna be doing that video, but stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, make sure you hit the like button, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.